assalamu alaikum dear students last time we stopped here that how she realized when she saw that uh, uh, skinny bones there and she uh, thought that she realized uh, realized how sickle and fresh meat that can be because that had been already eaten by a human being my friend the tom parred through the garbage with enormous artistry and made me do the same all the night long examining every paving stone without the least sign of hurry after nearly 10 hours of rain i was shivering all over stupid street useless liberty how i missed my prison in the morning the tom noticing my shaky state asked in an odd voice have you had enough Oh yes I replied do you want to go back home I certainly do but how can I find it come on the morning I saw you come out I knew that a fat cat like you is not cut out for the joys of liberty I know where you live I'll show you to the door he said all this with simple dignity and when we arrived at the house he bade me adieu without the least show of emotion no I cried we cannot take leave of each other like this come with me we shall share the same bed and the same food my mistress is a wonderful woman he didn't even let me finish shut up he said briskly you are a fool i'll die in that warm softness your life of abundance is fine for spoil your life of abundance is fine for spoiled cats free cats will never buy your ease and your comforter for the price of being imprisoned goodbye he climbed back onto his rooftops i saw his great thin shadow shudder with pleasure at the caresses of the rising sun when i came home your aunt gave me a punishment which i received with profound joy i reveled in being punished and so comfortably warm and i while she coughed to me i thought with delight of the meat she would give me directly afterwards you see an afterthought while stretched out before the embers true happiness paradise my master is where one is locked up and beaten wherever there is meat i speak for cats Okay now let me tell you the gist what we have read is that now she is fed up of the liberty now she has she has realized that she has committed a mistake by going out of the house by leaving that comfort of the house and going in the dirty streets and now she told his friend her friend tom that she has to go home and this tom cat is telling her yes i would take you home uh sure you want to go home you can go home but do you know where uh, this uh, the narrator is telling her that i don't know where my house is and uh, the tom cat is telling her that yes i know where from you have come because when you came out from the house i noticed i remember the house from where you came out okay now uh, he is telling her and uh, after that they go to this house of the cat and uh, this tom cat is bidding adieu telling goodbye to the cat and this uh, narrator is telling her no you cannot uh, uh, go like this we have to be friends come with me we will share the same bed and this tom cat is telling her no i am free i won't live in a prison i won't live a life of a prisoner i i, I want to live a free life you can go okay shut up now she is going there and after that what happens she is being cuffed by the woman the woman who is present there in the house she is she tied this cat over there so let me tell you but my friend the tom par through the garbage means he searched every inch of the garbage with enormous artistry with every with ease 
and made him do all the night uh, do the uh, and made me do the same all the night long and made the narrator do the same things that he did so without the least sign of hurry I mean slowly and steadily after nearly 10 hours of rain i was shivering so she was shivering with cold stupid street now she is telling stupid street useless liberty and uh, how i missed my prison so she is missing her prison so much from where she, where she had comforters and uh, blankets in the morning the tom noticing my shaky state asked in an odd voice have you had enough so in the morning when tom noticed my shaky state i was feeling very cold and he told me in a very odd voice odd voice means ajeeb si awaaz mein have you had enough bas ho gaya aapka itna hi tha so have you had enough matlab uh, have you enjoyed enough liberty now okay oh yes i replied she is telling yes Do you want to go back home? She is telling yes. I certainly want to go back home, but I cannot find it. How can I find it? Come on. The morning I saw you come out, I knew that a fat cat like you is not cut out for the joys of liberty. So when I saw you coming out of the house, I knew that you are a fat cat and you are not meant for the joys of liberty. You are meant for the joys of prison you are meant for the joys of imprisonment you are not meant for the joys of liberty because you are fat by sitting at one place by sitting under comforter eating meat you have become very fat and for you liberty is not a liberty is not a cup of your tea i know where you live and i will show you to the door now he is telling her yes i will show you to the door he said with all with a simple dignity so he said with respect and when he arrived at the house he bade me adieu he told me goodbye bade me adieu means telling goodbye okay without the least show of emotion so without emotions means he was not feeling emotions for this cat whether she will go or remain with him he didn't care about that okay he didn't show any emotion no i cried we cannot take leave of each other like this we cannot leave each other like this we have been uh, here with i have been with you all through this night and we cannot uh, take leave we cannot apart from each other we cannot depart from each other like this okay come with me come with me come to my house we will share the same bed and the same food i'll give you the same food that i will eat my mistress is a wonderful woman my mistress mistress means who keeps her there in the house she is a wonderful woman he didn't even let me finish usne isko abhi iski baat kaati kya abhi khatam hi nahi shut up he said brusquely brusquely means rudely ha huh? rudely what he said you are a fool i will die in that warm softness you are a fool tum bewakoof ho main mar jaunga us softness mein i'll die because he was not used to that prison he was used to live a life of a liberal L- to live liberally to live in liberty your life of abundance is fine for spoiled cats the life of abundance that you have life of abundance means where you get many things abundance means abundance abundant means bahut uh, so when you uh, uh, your life of abundance the life where you get many things is fine for spoiled cats for those cats who are spoiled cats spoiled cats means one uh, those cats who do not who don't want to live a life of a, uh, this who don't, don't want to live life in liberty and who don't want to do things by themselves rather they are dependent on some other like this cat the narrator was dependent on that mistress but the storm cat who is telling her that your life of abundance is fine for spoiled cats was a lib- was liberal he uh, liked to live a life of liberty by his own means okay free cats will never buy your ease and your comfort for the price of being imprisoned so those cats who are free they will never buy your ease they will never buy your comfort आसानी दे विल नॉट बाई यूर ईज दे विल नॉट बाई यूर कम्फर्टर कम्फर्टर मीन्स वो रज़ाई जैसी होती है फॉर द प्राइस ऑफ बींग इम्प्रजेंट मीन्स दे आर नॉट दे विल डाई रादर बींग इम्प्रजेंट दे विल डाई रादर दे विल डाई ऑफ कोल्ड दैन बींग इम्प्रजेंट दैन बींग इम्प्रजेंट गुड बाई ही क्लाइम्ब बैक ऑन टू हिज रूफ टॉप्स सो ही क्लाइम्ब बैक ऑन टू हिज रूफ टॉप्स एंड सेड गुड बाई टू दिस narrator 
I saw his great thin shadow shudder with pleasure. So narrator is telling that I saw his shadow shuddering with pleasure at the caresses of the rising sun. Shudder means shudder means dheere dheere fade ho jana with pleasure at the caresses of the rising sun. Caresses of the rising sun means. रेज ऑफ द राइजिंग सन विद प्लेजर एट द ऐसा हिज ग्रेट थिन शेडो शेडो विद प्लेजर शेडर मीन्स धीरे धीरे फेड हो जाना एट द केयर ऑफ द राइजिंग सन एट द वेन द सन रोज एंड वो शेडो जैसी जब आती है तो विद दैट ओके When I came home, your aunt gave me a punishment which I received with profound joy. So when I came back home, now she is addressing to someone. Uh, someone she is here telling to someone that your aunt gave me a punishment. आपकी आंट ने मुझे पनिश किया, which I received with profound joy, and I was very joyful when I received that punishment. I revelled in being punished. I enjoyed being punished. Why? So com and so comfortably. warm i loved being punished and so comfortably warm so i was warm there but uh, and she punished me and i liked i loved when she punished me and while she cuffed me she cuffed me cuffed means banna i thought with delight of the meat she would give me directly after words so when she cuffed me i thought of the meat the thought of meat came in my mind and i thought now she will give me after cuffing me after um, 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 this हैंड कफिंग मी और आफ्टर दिस बान जब बांधने के बाद ये मुझे क्या देगी मीट शी विल गिव मी है मीट यू सी एंड आफ्टर थाट वाइल स्ट्रेच आउट बिफोर द एम्बर्स समथिंग दैट इज थाट और एडिड लेटर यू सी एंड आफ्टर थाट वाइल स्ट्रेच आउट बिफोर द एम्बर्स सो आई थाट समथिंग दैट इज एडिड और थाट लेटर I stretched out before the embers. I stretched out means I was very tired all day long, and I stretched myself before the embers before that burnt coal. And I thought, true happiness, paradise. You see. And after thought, while stretched out before the embers, I stretched out all before the embers, and I thought, what I thought. After stretching on the embers, before after stretching before the embers, I thought, yeah, I thought that true happiness, paradise, my master is where one is locked up and beaten wherever there is meat. So true happiness and paradise is there where your master is locking you up and you are being beaten and where there is meat. I speak for cats. I speak for cats means I speak for these cats who are imprisoned. Okay. With this, we have finished this chapter. Tomorrow we will do the exercise portion. Till then, stay at home, stay safe, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.